and welcome again to Akron AM. I'm your host, Don Williams. Now, yesterday on this, the call-in portion of the show, our topic was, what kind of a dog would you like to own? And today, something just a touch more serious, a look at the homosexual problem. <laughs> and uh, that ought to quiet some of the critics out there who say we don't take on the hard issues on Akron AM. And to help us with our topic is a man who has made counseling the homosexual his life's work, Pastor James Babbitt. <laughs> Thank you, Don. <laughs> you know, in today's modern world, uh, you hear about a lot of crazy things going on. Homosexual marriages, homosexual parades, homosexual discos, uh, pina coladas, <laughs> designer sheets coming out of the homosexual closet. What's it all about? Well, we hope to show you today as we ask homosexuals to call us, talk to us, tell us your problems. We'd like to help. And without further ado, let's grab line one and talk to our first homosexual. Hello? Uh, who Hello. am I talking to? First names only? Uh, Jim. Okay, and Jim, you are a self-accused, self-confessed, self-acknowledged homosexual. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Don, I am. Okay, tell us your story. And you can be frank. Uh, well, let's see. I'm 34. I've been gay for 18 years. I've had the same lover, Brian, for nine years. Uh, we both have good jobs. I'm an MD and Brian's a lawyer. And we both feel lucky to know who we are and accept it as being perfectly natural and normal. Uh, one, one problem, of course, with these controversial topics is the crank caller. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize to Pastor Babbitt and to my viewers. Now, let's get to the phones and talk to some real homos. <laughs> Line two, who am I talking with? Hi, uh, my name's Valerie, and uh, I've got a bit of a problem. You, you sound deeply disturbed, <laughs> so please, take your time. Well, there's uh, just some things I need to know, you know? Um, like, I met this really great girl, and uh, I want to know on the first date, uh, should I pay for dinner or should I let her treat me? Honey, I say, why don't you just pick up a copy of Emily Post and substitute she for he? Your thoughts, Pastor? I would just like to suggest to the young lady that she get down on her hands and knees and beg the Lord God for forgiveness. Well, well there you go. Two solutions to a common problem. Thanks for the call. You know, Don, it saddens me, but it doesn't surprise me. Line three, you're on the air with Pastor Babbitt. Uh, hi, I I'm, I'm Steve. Okay, Steve, I don't mean to insult you, but are you a homosexual? Well, I'm, I'm worried. I, I, I have these feelings, but I just don't know how to tell anybody. Uh, maybe, maybe I can clear it up for you, son. Uh, do you have a subscription to apartment life? Can you make a decent souffle? Uh, no. Well, then, are you bad at sports? Uh, yes, but I, I didn't now, know that Now, that Steve, that uh, don't become alarmed. Uh, uh, Don is right in thinking there may be warning signs, but let... Let me take a long, hard squint at this particular problem. <laughs> Do you find you want to spend more of your time with your male friends than with the girls you know? Uh, yes, that's Do, why I... Do you find that there is a male instructor at school you like just a little too much? <laughs> Do you, do you find that whenever he comes near, your heart begins to pound and you feel fit to burst? Well, not with a teacher. And do you find that your father never gave you enough love? He had lots of time for other people. Oh, sure. But never, never enough for you. You weren't man enough for him. You weren't good enough for the name Babbitt. My name's not Babbitt. And then you find yourself down going into the bars and keeping the kind of company you deserve because, because you're a singing fairy. And then you move away to Akron to get away from your ugly thoughts, but you find yourself down preaching to the men on the docks and they smell of the salt sea air. And who can blame them if they turn to each other on those lonely nights on the boat? Pastor, I, I think the young man is And then trying. you find yourself on TV sitting across from a man with pablum for brains and a face like the Backside of an Angus tail. <laughs> but you want him 
Jim, oh gracious saints above, you want him so bad you can hardly breathe. You can hear the blood pounding, pounding, pounding. Pastor, I've enjoyed the this, but we've got to get on with the, the cooking portion of the show. Voice. You've never seen anything like it, you know, he staff, but you want to bury your face so, in his jacket. So, my thanks to the pastor, we've got to go. We've got a yeah, recipe for apple cobbler coming up. Broad along. shoulders, your filthy go eyes are wandering all go over his cabardine slack. Go to commercial. And all you can think about is dancing in the moonlight. Cut him off. Go to commercial. Soft music. Get him off. Car 